Hey guys, fucking PewDiePie here, and before you guys, like, go ahead and, like, yell at me for uh, straight up stealing that joke from Leafy, um, it actually has merit in this, this video, so, you know, I thought I would, uh, throw some of my roots back into the video, you know, back when I was a straight up Leafy copy, I mean, not much has changed, but, you know, that's, that's not what we're here to talk about, guys. But today, guys, oh boy, did I find a video on just something special, guys. Today's video, it's, it's on the proof that PewDiePie really is... A terrible person that PewDiePie and his army of 40 million 10 year olds has finally done something wrong. He's finally been caught in his abusive and domestic violence ways, guys. Today, I found a woman that straight up looks like she's 16 and desperate for attention. Guys, she tells a story of her terrible times in, in a third world country. Okay, I, I really need to stop with that joke, calling every country but America third world. You know what? Yeah, if it's true, I guess it, it, I can say it, okay? So, you know, every country that's not America is a third world country. I like how I, like, kind of just pissed off, like, a third of my fan base right there. You know, maybe maybe a little bit more, so yeah. Fuck you guys. By the way, America best country. But jokes aside, guys, today I found a very serious video that is meant to be taken seriously. It's another story time where people tell about illegal things that have happened to them and they decided not to go to the police guys it's another one of those stories you know the ones that are totally not just for attention and totally happened guys today i found probably one of those truest stories i could ever see on the internet guys and i hope that you guys will understand because we really need to get this video out there because guys i can't believe my only idol on youtube the person i look up to the most the person that is my only favorite youtuber could do such such a terrible act against another human being oh it's a girl it's a girl okay never mind guys uh it's all off no one gives a shit anymore wow i just realized how fucked up that joke was um how about we just act like that didn't happen and we just we move on with the video now so we're we're, we're gonna stop uh this this intro because I don't want to tell any more of those uh, fucking retarded jokes. So we're, we're, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the video. I'm, I'm sorry in advance. This is a really hard story time video to make. And honestly, as I said in my last video, I would never wish this upon anyone. Man, I wonder what happened. Maybe she witnessed Hitler committing genocide. Or maybe... She witnessed a baby falling off a roof. I don't know, guys. The intensity is building right now. I hope you're ready because this, this shit is going to be good. This is going to be juicy. At any time, you know, any day. Because, <clears throat> honestly, I'm just outraged that an idol of mine could do this to me. Okay, guys, I got you because... This woman clearly doesn't understand what the hell a YouTube celebrity guys is. Just imagine the worst person you could possibly think of. Maybe maybe a murderer. Maybe a rapist, guys. Imagine that person. Imagine, like, none of the crimes were ever noticed. Give them millions of people that worship him. Allow them to act like the biggest man-child possible. And then put them in front of a camera. And there you go. You have Toby Turner. That was fucked up. Um... Well, I guess this is going to be one of those videos with um, some very, very offensive jokes. So, I mean, if you haven't noticed already, I mean, there's probably been a few up before this one. So, you know, you, you guys, it's your fault for continuing watching this video. Um, it is an emotional topic. I'm sorry, it might not seem that bad to you, but it is to me. Yeah, this woman clearly has no clue how to be a good intention whore. Okay, guys, I got you. I am going to be your YouTube sensation here, guys, with the tips on how to be a complete attention whore. Okay, so make up a story about a famous person, preferably Bill Cosby or, you know, just any rape allegations work, really. Make sure you guys make it very emotional and detailed as possible. If you have to spend a few days writing up the story, it really works. But if you're going to put your face in front of the camera, make sure you wear mascara. Make sure it is not waterproof. One water down your face a little bit. Don't put too much you don't want to seem like you were crying for too long but you want to see like you're crying guys you gotta ma mascara is like the most important thing but guys make sure you you get some lipstick on but like mess it up a little bit and there you go guys make sure you have a very raspy voice and there you go guys you can be an attention whore too so um don't hate me for that i don't hate you but i think there's been this quote going around by fucking like leafy is queer or something or queefy is here i don't know what one of those fucking youtubers um you know it, it goes something like this uh as i quote 
kill yourself. I feel like she might not know what type of video this is, so um, that was a joke. Don't take that seriously. Don't kill yourself. Thank you. It's just something that I have really been struggling to accept in the last few months. Okay, so it all started when I went on a trip to Tokyo. Okay, guys, I, I would put an air horn remix right in front of this thing, but I don't feel like blowing your ears out right now. So I'm just going to say uh, Weeb Alert. And just imagine with uh, air horns playing like rear, 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 and then Weeb Alert, and then rear, 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 like that. You know, just, just imagine that. that I, I don't feel like blowing your ears out, so, you know, I, I'm trying to be nice. Yes, I was in Tokyo. I was so happy at the time. I was so happy that my idol would be in the same city as me at the same time. And I was following his tweets. I was following everything. I was seeing where he was going. Now, I can't say I'm an expert on being famous, but I think you might be a stalker. Just just a little bit. Um, It might be a little bit weird. I know they're famous and all. But that's a little stalkery, don't you think? When finally, I found him and Marcia. And you know what? I regret it. Okay, I haven't watched many of PewDiePie's videos, but I think he might be a Minecraft Let's Player at this point, because holy shit, man. This sounds like pedophilic activity to me, or at least rape. I regret it so much that I had to find him in Martia because honestly, <clears throat> Martia isn't even that bad. Let's not put this on her, but it's him. I was wrong, guys. She is a lot better at making this emotional. Like, this is bringing a tear to my eye. Like, don't blame it on Martia. Blame it on PewDiePie. Just, it's, it's beautiful. Don't blame it on the woman that makes makeup tutorials. Blame it on the guy that entertains 10-year-olds for a living. This is just like the story of the life of YouTube, guys. It's not the fault of the beauty gurus, guys. It's the fault of the Minecraft Let's Players. But honestly, we can all just blame it on Lion Maker at this point. I walked past them to say hello, and I took a picture with him. You walked up to him and took a picture with him. Man, this story is very emotional, and I, I can't believe an idol would do that. They would take a picture with you? Oh, that, that disgusting human being. I can't believe PewDiePie would do such a terrible act against another human being. Guys, this is hashtag stop PewDiePie 2016. I can't believe a man like this would do something so despicable, so disgusting. And then he... He said to me, Delete it, fatty. Okay, the, I have a few words for the creator of this video. I A few words to tell to you personally. Um... Oh, I don't know how to say this. Um, you got wrecked, mate. I'm sorry. That was a fucking sick roast right there. Just you, you got destroyed. He told me to delete the photo because I was fat. The next day, I found them again because I thought he was joking. He's a comedian. Obviously, he might be joking, right? I thought it was just me, but I guess PewDiePie lives by the the rule, the fact, the quote. That a joke doesn't have to be funny to be a joke. Because we can sure tell PewDiePie isn't funny. Um, I should not be talking right now. I have not a prime example of comedy. No, wrong. I will pass them. I don't really want a picture. I've done everything that I can. I've talked to them and everything. And you know what? He punches me. And he says, DELETE IT! Oh man, I can just imagine the situation playing out, you know. You can see the despicable person, PewDiePie, walking down the main streets of Tokyo. And this woman walks by. And in the middle of the road, PewDiePie just walks up and fucking floors her ass. She's on the floor crying with a broken nose. And you know what he said, guys? You know what he says? PewDiePie stands over her. He says, fucking delete it, fatty. Or I will find your family in 9-11 in your backyard. You can just imagine that. And then, you know what his next threat was? Since she didn't believe that he was going to 9-11 her backyard, you know what he said? He said, I'll, I'll talk to my friend Lion Maker for you. And that's how the photo was deleted, guys. I don't know why 
I had to delete that photo. Honestly, I have no clue either, because uh, from the, some of the photos that I've seen PewDiePie take, and from the videos that I've seen of PewDiePie, um, he clearly has no standards on what he puts on the internet, so I have no clue why the hell he cares that he took a photo with you. I mean, honestly, I, I think his standards are just so low of shit that he puts on the internet that I don't think he would give a shit, honestly. I mean, I don't know, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe PewDiePie is very sensitive with who he takes photos with. He told me, delete it fat. And you know what? I have more proof. I have DMs from him on Twitter. Did she like forget to edit the DMs? Did she like legit forget while she was making this video? She was like so hyped to get YouTube famous off of this that she legit forgot to put the DMs in. <laughs> I can just... <laughs> she uploads the video and is like, shit, I forgot the DMs that I totally faked. And I'll put them right here for everyone. Oh my gosh, she fucking cut herself out. I feel like she didn't edit this video and someone from like the YouTube corporation or one of his 10 year old fans got a hold of this video. They edited this shit in to cut her out. That was, that was beautiful. That's probably worse than my editing and that's, that's saying something. You can see clearly here, guys. These DMs were totally not fake. They are 100% real. Uh, PewDiePie is an abuser and he's an emotional stressor. I can't believe PewDiePie would do something. I mean, it's totally not a fake account or inspect element. I mean, clearly, PewDiePie has the time and effort to go ahead and try and hunt down one woman of her 40 million 10 year old fans to delete one photo because it matters that much to him. Oh my god, dude, legit PewDiePie rape face, and then it says, I will ruin you, fat girl. Holy shit, PewDiePie might actually be a rapist. I mean, if, if this isn't fake, you know, PewDiePie is legit a rapist, guys. He's got the rape eyes, you know, that creepy pedo smile. Trust me, guys, I am an expert with pedo smiles. Mm. But he's got that across the screen of what even, I don't even know that fucking app of, but I will ruin you, fat girl. What he meant to put is, I will ruin your anus, fat girl to see because I'm just sick of it. <sighs> PewDiePie, if you're watching this, I don't support you anymore. Oh no, PewDiePie lost one fan. Oh my gosh, dude, his his analytics are going to be so bad now. He's going to lose one like per video, one view per video, one cent per video, and then he lost a subscriber. Oh my gosh. He lost one of his 40 million subscribers. Dude, PewDiePie's channel is, is dying. My, I can't believe it, guys. I'm I'm sorry for PewDiePie, guys. I legit feel for PewDiePie, guys. Um, I was wrong about making this video, guys. Send, send some love to PewDiePie's way, guys. Hashtag save PewDiePie's channel. Okay, guys, that that was the end of the video. I am I honestly am ashamed of making this video, and I know it's a bit longer than my usual videos, but, you know, it was a three-minute long video and, you know, a two-minute intro, so, you know, I gotta love that shit. But the offensive jokes in this video, guys, were uh, more than average of my videos, and I'm, I I publicly apologize if it offended anybody, but, um, Loki, fuck you. Um, that, that's basically it. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, my channel's fucked. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are going to murder PewDiePie. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good night.